Family flex. <laughs> oh, I actually licked it. Hi, I'm Dan Q, and this is my review of Godzilla Huntley's Family Vlog, episode 12. This is the most lackluster knife fight. Mm. Yeah. Can I stab you? In this episode, we discover that the relationship between Godzilla and her sister Sarah is closer than makes me comfortable. I think your clunge more than I think my own clunge. Of all of the slang terms for vaginas, I feel that clunge is the most onomatopoeic. Back to college. Godzilla returns to college, and that may be what inspires this particular chemistry experiment. She's drinking this. Zante. And have a, a flash of something. What's maltodextrin? I don't know! Maltodextrin is an oligosaccharide produced by the partial hydrolysis of starch. It's usually flavourless. It's used as a simple carbohydrate in things like diet drinks. I wonder how Sarah's diet is going. It would look great if I managed to stick to the diet for a day. <laughs> That's what's most impressive about it all. It sort of makes sense that Sarah would try to get thin to fit in on her holiday to Ibiza, while Godzilla would stay fat in order to fit in on her holiday to America. Fucking skinny jeans! <laughs> like, literally, I've had incredible hold down oh, by those skinny jeans. <laughs> in this episode, Godzilla teaches us about efficiency in cooking. I didn't want to make a full batch of muffins, so I made exactly two muffins. The, the one for me muffins. and one for Sarah's vagina. That's the second mention of Sarah's clunge in this episode. I'm beginning to think that Godzilla might have a problem. I'm just beginning to think that Godzilla might have a problem. Put your fucking shoes on! We're going downstairs! In this episode, Godzilla and Sarah discuss fapping. That is, masturbation, and wonder why guys don't do it all the time. If I was a guy, I would just fap everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how they resist the urge. I'm fapping now. I would be like, at work, knocking one out. Toilets in Sainsbury's, knocking one out. In park, it's dark enough, knocking one out. No way the male orgasm is as, as good, good as the girls now. It cannot be. Oh. <sighs> Go right in front of mum and pop it and she'll go, oh. Godzilla announces that during her upcoming holiday to the USA, she'll be trying to collate videos from the rest of the family and continuing the family vlog in its usual fashion. On Monday, me and Zara are going to America and uh, I'll try and film. Your mum's chucky shit about. While I'm there, but I don't know what the internet I'm going to be able to get to is going to be like. The family see Insidious 2 and provide their three word reviews. While all of them are capable of counting to three this week, they aren't capable of agreeing on the difference between a kettle and a teapot. He threw, he threw a kettle? No, he didn't. It was a kettle. She took it off the stove. Do you want to walk home or are you going to agree that it's a kettle? <laughs> I will go and watch it again. He threw the kettle at her. He, threw he the took red a red kettle, kettle off the, the stove, stove, threw it across the kitchen. Might have been. It might have been a kettle! Maybe! We'll never know! This episode features a dubstep break. <laughs> Until Sarah has a go at breaking the camera. What? What the fuck? What were we doing for a minute there? As part of her ongoing demonstration of life skills, which started earlier with the muffins, Godzilla shows us how to efficiently pack a bag. I'm not convinced that US Customs will let her take that cat through. On the family vlog, yeah, but I don't Jen. Want to walk. Altogether, I give this episode one box full of sex toys. <laughs> Oh, 
What, what the fuck? <laughs> what were we doing for a minute there?